video. What's up? Okay, let me look. It's coffee. It's called coffee. That's the flavor. It's coffee. It's, oh my God, did you know? <laughs> my favorite flavor? Your favorite flavor is caramel, vanilla, fuckery? Well, mine is coffee. Just coffee. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess, and it took me so long. Bitch. So today, I decided I'm gonna be in a different atmosphere because I'm so tired of talking to you guys next to my fucking desk. Like, honestly, that's not me. I don't, I mean, it is me, obviously, but it's like, I don't sit around at my desk all day. I sleep all day, <laughs> so that's inaccurate. So, but today, with including me in my Sonic t-shirt, I wanted to talk to you guys and basically rank every single song off of Mott's 7. Mott 7, Map of the Soul 7, 7, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna call it. I don't know what I call it, but I'm gonna call it Mott's. So, <laughs> saying Mott's is just so weird, like it makes no sense, but it's like, I feel like I have to. So, Map of the Soul has been out for almost, I would say, like, half a month. Why did I, why did I say half a month? I could have said two weeks. It's been out for a little over two weeks now, and I just, I feel, I feel like I have to rank them. Like, I don't know. It's just like the social obligation as a ARMY YouTuber. I don't know. Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just like my constant need for attention and validation about my opinions. But we're going to be doing that today. So buckle up. So I'm going to go through every single song off the album and we're going to just listen to it together. No, but I wanted to rank the songs and talk about what my, my top are. Because there's a lot of songs on this album. I'm not gonna go through Rap of the Soul Persona because I did not really like that album at all. <laughs> Literally after after I listened to Persona, I was like, now where's the tier of the series? <laughs> like, cause tier is peak BTS. Like Wings and Tier. You cannot tell me that Wings and Tier are BTS's are not BTS's best album cycles, but you know what? Let's get into it. So. <laughs> I've been rambling for too fucking long. So we're gonna go to Map of the Soul, the first song. Okay, let's listen to Shadow. So out of all these songs, I don't know how I'm gonna rank them. I'm just gonna do what I want because like it's my channel. I don't know, who cares? Okay, let's listen to Shadow. When I first heard this, I was like, I already know this era's gonna be fire. You already know it's gonna be fire. Okay, so I can't play the full song. What the fuck? I can't play the full song, obviously, but, um, Shadow was fucking fire. Don't let me shine, don't let me down, don't let me fly in the night in the world. Um, King Yoongi really coming to snap our necks, um, and by that I mean murder us. So, thank you, Kim Yoongi, Pisces King. Kim Yoongi? Not Kim Yoongi. Min Yoongi, he's not married to Namjoon yet. <laughs> so, Shadow was good. I don't know where, I don't know where I would put it, but I'm gonna listen to Black Swan. Black Swan is probably my top five on this album. Not just because it's a single, but it's also just extremely fire anyway, so we're just gonna, we're gonna sit through it, we're gonna listen, we're gonna. I can't wait to scream this at the concert. Their dance, bro, when they first, when they first performed this, I'm straight now. Why does every time like J-Hope rap in like a sad song, I can still like turn up to it. I'm like, yes, King, yes, yes, rap King. <laughs> okay, that song is fire. We all know Black Swan. We stand very hard. So now we're gonna listen to Filter. I'm pregnant already. Okay, let's move on. Um. Um, I don't think that song's for children. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Now we're gonna be listening to My Time by um, Jungkooki. My Time. I've. You probably already know how I feel about My Time because My Time. I got. I got. I got. I got. We haven't even gotten to my faves yet. All three. I want you guys to guess my top three faves because they're all in row together on the album. You guys probably already know, but. I'm gonna have you guess anyway, cause I'm difficult. <laughs> okay, let's listen to my time. This makes me like nostalgic about life, like looking like. Oh. <laughs> Chef's kiss! Chef's kiss! Listening to these songs while thinking about their solo stages. I swear, okay, we're not at friends yet, but I swear if Jimin and Taehyung perform together and they like, are cute and they be hugging because they they chingles. 
don't think I can take that. I know that I know I'm not listening to friends right now, but that those songs usually don't get me, but like the lyrics though, they really be hitting different. Like this song as well. Like I really, I really thought. No, okay, that shit was straight up fire. Okay, now we're gonna listen to Louder Than Bombs. Top three on the album. I already, before I even rank them, top three. Okay, and that's on period. Boyfriend will tell you, I listen to this song every day. Um, Kim Tae Young, I did not ask for disrespect today. No! 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 Um, so I was listening to the Louder Than Bombs lyric video and someone underneath was like, they sound like sirens, like trying to lure in like, like people on, like, you know, sirens, like, you know, they lure in like men with their like beautiful voice and stuff like on, in the sea and stuff. And that's like literally exactly what they sound like. And now I just cannot, I keep imagining me going on a cruise and getting the coronavirus and then Jimin over there on a fucking rock looking like trying to seduce me with his beautiful ass voice like i know the song is about like their depression but like i'm just saying like now i'm depressed because they're so fucking beautiful my favorite part didn't come up yeah i'll tell you when my favorite part come up because bitch this song when i'm june becoming when i'm june becoming gay bitch 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 <laughs> verse not even over yet his verse not even over yet when i first heard that lyric i thought he was saying fuck your life i know he's not but the way he said it it sounds like you know in dang when he was like his whole verse is like do your thing I me and Sonic are shaken to our core we got on let me make up a fan chant it's not official though Kim Nanju Kim So Jin Min Yu Gi Jo Ho Fuck Part Jun Min Kim Tae Young Jo Jo Kook BT whoever is next to me at the concert I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. You gonna have to deal with this. <laughs> I'm going to be going so fucking hard. Woo! I'm sweating. I'm not even at the con I'm not even at Soldier Field yet. Also, if you go into Soldier Field, let me know because I'm gonna be there. And if you see me, say hi. Don't be scared. Even though I look like this. Even though I'm. <laughs> don't be scared. Okay. <laughs> don't be scared. It was fire. But you know what else is also fire? Oh! Uh! I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> That gunshot, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> this song also, when we at the concert, if I don't see y'all headbanging to this shit with a 12 year old, I don't give a fuck. If you're a 12 year old, if, if other people are around you, I don't care how old you are, you better fucking go fucking crazy when Ugg comes on because you know they're gonna, oh my God, what if they do that and tear? Oh my God, oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Guys, what if they do Cypher 4? What if they do Cypher? No, 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 no. What if they do, if, what if they do Cypher 4, then they go into UGG after Cypher? The rap line will not let me survive. That's too good. We don't deserve that. I'm, that would be iconic. I'm just, I'm just saying that would be pretty freaking iconic though. <laughs> that would be pretty dope though. Let's listen to zero, zero, zero o'clock. Zero, 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 zero o'clock. 12 a.m military time okay well zero o'clock can you stop well zero o'clock was fire so i totally forgot i was supposed to be ranking these so i'm gonna be writing them all down and then at the end i'm gonna rank them i should have said that in the beginning but i might put this in the beginning or i might just say it or i don't i don't know i bought this for like a dollar that staple staples is great Okay, so now we're gonna listen to Inner Child, which will definitely make me cry my eyes out because not only is it V's song, but it's about protecting your inner child, and I'm ready for emotional trauma at any time. <laughs> okay, debatably, 
I like the song. I like Kim Tae Young. But that did sound like something made by Hillsong. If you guys know Hillsong, you know Hillsong. I grew up in Christian private school, so when I hear something with like that similar tempo, it reminds me of Christian music because all Christian music is basically like the same. I would know, okay? I spent seven years in Christian private school. Don't come for me. I'm not this. I'm just being real. So next song is Friends with Jimin and Tay. V-Min, V-Min stands. We won. This song is literally the cutest thing I've ever heard. It just makes me smile. Hold up. He said, hello, my alien. I remember that from the lyric video. Tata is an alien, right, in BT21. And that's V's character, right? So you're... I, I think I'm coming up with a hashtag army conspiracy. God, I wish I can literally just have a best seat to like sing that song with low key, but we both don't know Korean, so it would just sound stupid. So now we're gonna listen to Moon. Moon! I'm sorry. I'm so disrespectful. <laughs> when Jin makes a song for you, but you mock it. If you guys don't know, Moon is basically a song about army. It's fucking beautiful. Has a man ever wrote you a song? Only Kim Sojin. Kim Sojin did that for you. So you got respect. Respect to. Bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is the song you would play like going out with friends or like at the at the cookout or something that is. I know I'm black, but I haven't been to cookout in so long, okay? I'm only saying that because it sounds like a good summer song. Okay, respect. Give it some respect. It's fire. I really don't know how I'm gonna rank all these songs. Maybe this video was just a terrible idea because I feel like I'm just gonna have an aneurysm trying to do this. Next we have We Are Bulletproof The Eternal. Guys, if you have not looked up these lyrics to, the, to We Are Bulletproof The Eternal, um, you're missing out because when I've heard this, I actually listened to this on Monday. It's Wednesday as I'm recording this. And I listened to this on Monday. I cried so hard. <laughs> like, I cried. I was, I was looking at the lyrics and it was like 10 a.m. and I'm just like, we're together. We're more than seven. Oh my God. Okay, so let's do it again. This is torture. I'm putting myself through it. That ass. This is what happens when you don't give up on your dreams. Oh, fuck. Concert is gonna wreck me. This tour is gonna wreck me. Cause then they're gonna play this. They're gonna play this fucking song. They're gonna play it. They better play Magic Shop. They didn't play it on speaker zone. But like Magic Shop and then this, or like this then Magic Shop. No Mirror Cosmos, okay, that was special just for a Speak Yourself tour. But like, oh my God, like, oh my God. We're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. Ready, set, and begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After all that crying, J Hope wants me to get up and dance. Okay. Wow. So that was Mop 7. Ah, wow, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 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 I don't know. Okay, let me just go by like my least favorite song, which is so hard. Like I'm not saying that just because like, oh, ARMY, don't get mad at me. Like if something if something was trash, I'll say it's trash. Okay, but um, there's no trash in this album. So that's what I'm saying. So even though I like all the songs, I think my least favorite is, oh my God, this is so hard. I think it's gonna be Inner Child. I don't want to put it last, but it's like, there's so many good songs. Okay. So we got, I think for last, I'm going to put Inner Child. It's not, Inner Child is not bad. Okay, listen to me. Inner Child is a great song, but it's, it's a little, to me, it reminds me of my Christian private school days and I just cannot have that. So the next song, probably Shadow, it's probably Shadow. I really like it and it was a good beginning to the era but there's so many songs that hit different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I can't sit here and be like, oh, Shadow deserves top five. I'm sorry, for me, it's a good song about Yoongi and his struggles with fame and, you know, being on the top and being lonely, but I just not, 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 not today, okay? I like Respect, but I don't like it more than Moon and Friends. You know what, I'm gonna put Respect after Shadow only because it's a good song, but only because there's better songs. You know what I'm saying? Like for me. After that, I'm gonna put Moon. And the reason why I'm putting Moon above that is because it's just, it just, it just sounds, it's just so good. And the meaning behind it is just so, it's so beautiful. 
you know, Sok Jini, Sok Jini, he didn't care about us. So this is a really cute song. And it's like, you know, a man wrote a song for me. Like that's beautiful, men are great. Okay, so especially Kim Sok Jin. Um, superior man. Okay. Hey guys. Oh my god. This this lighting is fucking god awful. Just like the lighting in the video. <laughs> so my face is gonna be very, 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 very light in the next like few minutes of this video. I really thought that going outside would like I don't know change my life, change my perspective, change the video. But I tried doing something and it low key kind of failed. And I also need to get this braid in because it fell out. So that's how I'm doing. So just wanna let you know that the lighting will be shit. Okay, bye. This is where it starts getting a little difficult. Next, I'm gonna put filter. Filter did basically impregnate me. I will be coming out with Ablation in nine months, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, Jimin. The, all the songs are good, so it's like, it's so difficult to rank it. Why did I even decide to do this? Like, I was just trying to be funny. I, I was trying to be cute, I was trying to be cool. Oh, man. Oh, people been asking me for a ranking thing. I'll just do ranking. No, but this shit is hard as fuck, okay? You can also see my tripod shadow right there. That's you. You are this phone right now, okay? Next is probably zero o'clock. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, next I'm definitely gonna put Friends because I like Friends, but I don't like it more than all the other songs. Uh, we only got a few songs left, oh my God. This is, where, this is where it gets hard. Okay, we're gonna do my time after this. Nigga, hey, figure that's my time. That's my time, nigga. That's my time. So we got Black Swan, Louder Than Bombs, On, Ugh. We are Bulletproof, The Eternal, and Ego. Oh my god, this is so hard. Okay, I really don't know. I don't know! I don't know what to do! Okay, oh my god, this is actually so hard. I can't put We Are Bulletproof below. I can't. Is that higher than On? You know what? I'm putting Black Swan, okay? Black Swan is below On, Ugh, and... I feel like... I feel like I'm committing like a heinous crime. You know what? I don't really like sentimental songs, but we are bulletproof, the eternal. It might have to make top five. I'm gonna put Black Swan at number six. That don't feel right. Okay, so we're gonna put outro ego. Okay, so now we got Louder Than Bombs on Ugg, and then we are bulletproof, the eternal. So I, I feel like I listen to Louder Than Bombs on and Ugg more than We Are Bulletproof The Eternal, so I'm gonna put that as number four. This is like stressing me out, like, I feel more pressure than like when I was taking like my SATs and I like literally failed. Sun is getting in my face! So we got the last few songs are Louder Than Bombs, Ugg, and On. I'm gonna put On at number three because for a title track, it's pretty good. Like some title tracks, like, I don't know, I feel like they're a little, eh, like, I don't know, iffy. And then the B tracks are really good, but On really snapped. On really said, I'm your bitch. And I'm like, you know what? I am yours. <laughs> so now we have Louder Than Bombs and Ugg. Louder Than Bombs will be my number one. And then Ugg will be my number two. We did it, America! We put BTS against each other. Okay, I look like I'm, I got like two different skin tones. Hold on. <laughs> Let me like move somewhere else because this is unacceptable. Okay, I moved. Okay, you can finally see my face. <laughs> so here's my official. I, I'm not even looking at the, at the, at the camera. <laughs> so here's my official on, on, what the fuck am I doing? Here's my official Mots 7 list ranking whatever it's called okay you ready for the official ranking i know you are because you've been waiting like i've been making i this is this is an hour long video okay whatever so number 14 is inner child i don't like doing that because v is my bias hajima there are better songs on the album that's just the tea sister number 13 is shadow number 12 respect number 11 is moon Number 10 is Filter. Number 9 is Zero O'Clock. Number 8 is Chingu. Number 7 is My Time. That is actually a really good song. I probably should have put it higher, but there are so many good songs on this. Number 6 is Black Swan. Even putting it halfway of the list, up the list, it does not feel good. Like, it feels bad, but there are so... I mean, ego. Ego, though. Ego, though. Number five is ego. Number four is we are bulletproof. The eternal. 
Number three is on, bring the pain on, okay? All right, you got it? <laughs> Number two is, oh, can I, oh. Uh, 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 uh. I just like songs that I can rage to. There's no other reason that it's number two. It's just I just enjoy screaming. Okay. And number one is Louder Than Bombs. And that is my full list. Guys, if you watch this whole thing, you got the fucking OGs, and I love you, and I respect you, and thank you. And I'm so happy you at least enjoyed watching this because I enjoyed making it and screaming and crying about it and literally screaming and crying, literally screaming and crying. Like, it's not an exaggeration. This is my life. This is my, my, my bloodline. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. So if you guys enjoy these type of videos, let me know and I can make more of them. If you guys enjoy this video, YouTuber things, like, and subscribe. You already know you're on the plot. You are on YouTube at least seven hours a day. And I just exposed you. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I come out with just whatever I want. This crackhead shit all the time. And be a part of Crackhead Nation by subscribing to the channel. Turn on notifications. All the YouTuber stuff. I love you so much. And um...